Hello, everyone. Howdy. It's William and Andrew here from Allegory Gallery, and we hope you are having a fantastic Tuesday. Right? Usually, I'm filming on Tuesday. No, usually you don't. Usually, I'm here filming with Jen right here using this space, but not today. Jen is still away, so we do not. Uh, we're not filming a Saturday morning tutorial with her. Andrew and I are still thinking if we can make one for ourselves. We'll see. Um, I think that would be the very first Saturday morning tutorial that Jen wasn't in. So we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll ask our friend Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> we have a few people we could ask. Um, we'll, we'll just have to see. Maybe get Annie up here or Lynn up here. Somebody. Um, maybe Raven. Doing maybe Raven. Who knows? You want a different kind of craft? Different kind of crafty video? How about that? We'll see. Um, let's see here. What is going on now? Marianne is here. Hello, Marianne. Norma is here. Hello, Norma. We have Nancy over on Instagram and Judith over there as well. Hello, you two. Suzanne is here. Harry has tuned in. Suzanne says, hello, everyone, to the AGB fam. Yes, hello, hello, everybody. Um, let's see here. My comments keep jumping. Um, ba -ba -ba. Pam is here. Hello, Pam says, I like that you come on live later. Yeah, we are um, we do the 7.30 now. We'll see once we get the store opened if that holds what we're going to keep doing. Um, maybe we'll switch it up and do some lives from our Friday live from Johnstown or something after we close the store. We'll see. But for now, 7.30 it is. 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Suzanne says, Cinnamon, what's that about? Oop, I guess I got to take this other banner away too, don't I? We're, we're live now. Um, except I don't know why... On Instagram, it's not showing live. Anybody out there on Instagram can tell me if our Instagram feed is going. We've, been having some... we've had some issues on the Instagram over there. I think we've just been having issues in general. Yeah, mostly here. I've been using my iPad on Instagram, and it sets everything up fine. But I think maybe sometimes the the video doesn't scroll. Oh, Susan says she'd like to do a live. Cinnamon like to do a live. Oh, on Saturday. There we go. That'd be, cute. That'd be very cute, right? Oh, uh, let's gonna, see. Are you going to dub her or is it going to be <laughs> the Southern Sassy Cat? The southern Sassy Cat. Cinnamon, the Southern Sassy Cat. <laughs> hey, Susie is here. Hello, Susie. Thanks for joining in. Um, I know, I know. So, Southern Bell. Southern Bell, Cinnamon. So today we have some hand glazed Chinese ceramic slash porcelain beads for you. Um, Andrew's trying to de-stash his stash of these. Yeah. So so he has, a lot. he has a lot. So we are doing these in pairs and every single pair only a dollar a pair. Now everybody. Some of them there's only one pair. Right. Some of them, there are like 30 pairs. Some of them, there are like one pair. Um, we're, we're spanning the gamut. We have some of these. We have a lot of these. We have not many of these. Um, so hopefully you like these. Help us get rid of them. We're doing them at a dollar a pair. I think that's a really great deal. And we've, made, we've standardized all the prices. So Yes. So some of them are smaller. Some are bigger. Some of them are gigantic gigantic but if you are buying multiples it'll average out because that's how we did it we averaged everything out because if you go and there are a few not like a whole bunch of people selling mm -hmm. these online but there's like a few and they range anywhere from like a dollar a bead to two dollars and fifty cents a bead yeah so so we're trying to liquidate our stash you're getting a dollar a pair Great deal. I'm going to take this banner away for now since we haven't started the show yet, but that's just a preview for all of you. Even if you don't get, I mean, even if they are smaller, they're still below the average. Yeah. So, what have you all been up to? We've been doing, we've been doing, it's a busy week, it just started. Um, 
but it has been busy. Our neighbors over there are mowing and um, new, neighbors, I think. new neighbors, we think. We think we have new neighbors, but we're not 100% sure. There's a lot of activity over there, unless they just have like kids staying with them. There's more kids than there ever has been next door. So we think we got new neighbors. Um, the house never went up with a sold sign, so we're not 100% sure. Maybe somebody's son took over. I don't know. We don't know. But somebody's mowing over there. Um, they've been mowing it quite a bit. Um, and we need to mow. It reminded us we need to mow. I plugged in our batteries for our mowers. And hopefully tomorrow morning, maybe, I'll come up here if I can get to bed tonight. Um, although we're probably going to be working late tonight. Don't forget you have to go to Little Hand Watershed and pick up those pigments from me. When is that? I didn't know that. That's not my calendar. That was supposed to be on Monday. <laughs> Nobody. And then Tuesday. No. We've just been getting up later. I don't even know where that is. Um, I don't know where it is. Up on the hill. You went and did that. In that barn. Oh, the barn? That up I know. On the hill. That's over by the community gardens. Hmm. Hmm. You're thinking of another barn. Anyway, there's GPS. You won't get lost. The one that shares the field with the flea, the, the market. market. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. there's another structure in town called the barn. Oh, the barn. No, no, no. Not and the that's barn. Further. That's a wedding space. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a wedding space. That's where my aunt got married. Um, Which aunt? Aunt Ethel. Oh. Um, so, yeah, that uh, that's news. <laughs> um, okay. What time am I supposed to pick that up? In the morning. Um, so we've had some order for some luster pendants. So we're going to be here probably a little bit late tonight making luster pendants. Um, so we can get those out the door soon. And um, I think, did Andrew finish the enamel pendants? Are we considering those done? Which ones? The ones you were working on all day yesterday? Yeah. The warrior owls and things? Sure. So those, if you're waiting on those, I know a few people have emailed me about those. I've tried to get back to you. Those will be going out the door very soon. We had an issue. So what ended up happening is usually what I do is I put a UV coating on top. Mm -hmm. protect Protective coating. Even though they don't really need it, it's just an added layer. Yeah. So what ended up happening is I put the UV on it and for some reason it pitted really bad. Um, and so I had to reapply. We were like, we cannot. Sand down the surface, and that took probably a day just sanding. Um, and then I had to reapply the UV, and so it took longer. Yeah. And normally he tries to do that outside. So we did have a nice day. So he did some of it outside and then some of it inside to try to extra bake it. So um, I think, and then we also had a lot of cloudy days, so I couldn't do we it. Couldn't, yeah, that's why they're they're being held up, because um, we could not send them out to you the way they were. No, because they were pitted. But that was not. That was they're not. They're done good. now. So they're done, and they will be heading out your way starting tomorrow when Barb's back in. And what else? Um, Susan is here. Hello, Susan. Thanks for joining us. Anne has joined in. Anne Schroeder, thank you for joining us. Pam says, the luster pendants are so cool. Thank you. We think people are going to love them um, once they get into people's hands and you start working with them and seeing them being worked with. So we're working hard to finish up um, the production batch of those. Um, the ones that we did were testers. Um, so the production batch we're working on and we're hoping to get some of those started to roll out in shipping possibly tomorrow or Friday if you've ordered. So we'll see how this goes, right? We're going to try and make some extras of the blanks so then they'll go mm -hmm. even faster yeah. later. We've definitely seen some, some kind of, you know, colorways that people like better we've definitely seen a cherokee purple that's definitely a color people are, are so vibing named with after a tomato by the way yes it's named so after the cherokee add, like, purple I'm tomato um, anyways i have cherokee people on my family <laughs> tree so so um her name was margaret 
apparently she was a princess. Mm. I was like, so did you just watch Pocahontas? <laughs> so anyway, that is a color that's been this popular. It like Pocahontas to me, this family history story. Okay. And it's a really, it's a really nice color. It's named after the tomato. It's kind of a reddy color, but also has a brown, purpley, green. Yeah, it color changes pretty nicely. Um, it's very hard to get pictures of, which is why I did videos of every one of the pendants. Uh, the, the French lilac and the Cherokee purple colors were almost impossible to get a nice view of the color in just a photo. Is so their color shift. Their color shift. So um, I took videos of every one of them and did videos. Um, Suzanne says, I like the red orange. Mm, they're kind of russet. What do we call that one? That Venetian was the Venetian red. red. The Venetian red. Um, it's been English ivy, the green, and Cherokee purple, I think that we've gotten the most orders on. Um, Is it because the green man one, though? Because the green man looks good in green? Some of them are the green man, some are not. I'm surprised yeah. the gold didn't go. I know. I don't know. I don't think we've gotten one order for the gold. I will order it. <laughs> I would too. That's the one I've been showing a lot of. I've been showing the English ivy locks, of course, green. I like green. I've been showing the the Inca yellow, Inca gold, because that one is a beautiful bright yellow color. Um, and then the other one I like to show the most is the Venetian red. The Venetian red. Because those are such, they're less color change. They're more lustry, but less color change. So when I show them in photos, they look like that. Mm -hmm. um, Easier to photograph. They're easier to photograph, so they're easier for me to show. What designs do y'all want? Because that's the other thing that we're working on is we're working on some new new designs. Designs. Maybe um, I'll show the previews of some of the new designs in the Patreon. Patreon. Pam says, "I've never heard of Cherokee purple tomatoes. They're beautiful. Look them up. They're delicious. And they're delicious because they're There's heirloom." A, what's the other name for it? Not kohlrabi. No, that's a totally different thing. Kasabi or something? I don't know. It's another name for the same one, but it sounds different. Yeah. And if you look up Cherokee Purple, you'll definitely see it, though. You'll definitely see it. Yeah. Uh, Jean Bram joined us over on Instagram. Thank you so much for joining in. If you're here, please say hi. Let us know you're tuning in and maybe where you're tuning in from. Chit chat a little bit. Maybe you'll make friends in real life that meet you here. Um, Marion says, I just ordered the green green man thank you i did not see i don't have any of my notifications on while we're streaming so that i don't get crazy stuff but thank you um perhaps i was just going to ask heirlooms yep they are heirloom tomatoes yeah they're delicious delicious and they're beautiful um if we ate i have yet to find a good bacon replacement mm -hmm. it's but, hard um my favorite my favorite thing well, there I have a couple favorite things. I have a lot of favorite things. Yes, he does. Uh, same favorite thing every hour, basically. But it is um, a good BLT. Mm -hmm. We used to go to this place called 12 Bones in Asheville. Mm -hmm. And they would dredge the bacon and brown <laughs> sugar and black pepper. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't thin bacon. It was a little bit thick. thick. Um, not I wonder if we took bacon substitute and just dredged it in that kind of stuff if it would i don't know because i've had the bacon substitute and it was like like it was kind of like eating a fruit roll up but salty <laughs> nice. and like they like really low down the liquid smoke yeah like they're like you know what flavor of bacon is liquid, liquid smoke. smoke yeah and i was like no <laughs> not, That's not, not right. real. there's a little bit of smoke but not like yeah. And then the one, I think I like, I got some, I was like, this tastes like poison. This like, this much should be eaten. Oh, Anne says, I couldn't decide what color to get. So now I'm following the crowd and getting Cherokee purple in the labyrinth. Nice. Uh -huh. Thank you. What other do you, what kinds of designs do you like? The labyrinth, I wasn't sure how the labyrinth was going to do, to be 100% honest with you, but it is one of the more popular designs. You know, it's a big thing. I guess. It's like a healing thing. Yeah. Like they have these at wellness centers and stuff. Mm -hmm. Our um, neighbors put one in. <laughs> Jimmy. Oh, yeah. yeah. They, that's a master gardener thing, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. I wanted to do one here at the cottage, but, you know, 
Time and money. <laughs> Time and money. We still haven't gotten our Palos pumpkin patch in. And, uh, he's going to be mad. That's. I know. We're going to get that done. The iron paw is going to come down. Come down. Smash up. <laughs> but let's not say that. Well, Paolo, that's up to him. You gotta appease him. <laughs> appease the Paolo, Mr. Paolo we Spirit. Some tonight so that he knows that, that we don't forget about him. We do. We burn candles like every night. Andrew mostly sets. I used to do them more often when we had the tea lights, but now we ran out of tea lights. Um, Pam says, oh, yummy bacon sounds good. Michelle says, I love BLTs. You know, my other favorite in the summer is. Um, crazy. Mm, that's I, very good. I can still eat that. Anytime. Wild man. You know, the good one tomatoes. place that I love, love, love to eat it is um, in Tucson. It's called Pita Jungle. And they put these pita chips and they're delicious. You don't think about it, but it's delicious. With what? With the crazy, mm, I mean, mm. you can't wait for that because it gets soggy. Yeah. But if you get fresh out the door, then it's mm -hmm. real delightful because yeah. it adds a little bit of crunch. Yeah. I also like those tacos in down in Asheville. We like that get, tacos? Yeah. I'm supposed to go down to North Carolina at the end of this month. So maybe I'll hit them up. Pam says, are you both vegan? No, we are vegetarian. We are both vegetarian. It's just easier if we both do it. Um, so we are both vegetarian and uh, not vegan, though. Haven't been able to go that far. We like our cheese. We tried. We started for like a week trying to go vegan. I have to watch that video. <laughs> I know. We watched a video or a series on, I think, Netflix. And we, after watching it, we're like, oh. Let's go vegan. And then we couldn't. We did it for like three weeks. We did it for a while. We were no cheese, no dairy. No eggs. No eggs. But that's a, that's taking away eggs because we don't eat the best, surprisingly, everybody. If you didn't realize um, with our long hours and the way we work, we don't always eat the best. I and try, but. Like three meals a day. That's a laugh. Um, that's too many. Getting, <laughs> we eat once a day and we have to um, get enough protein and eggs is one of the big ways that we do that. Um, I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but um, yeah, we eat a lot of beans, spinach, but eggs is a big one for like eggs. I could just can take a hard boiled egg and make a snack if I'm feeling like I'm feeling weak or low. Um, so yeah, I, um, we we did not we did not successfully translate to vegan, but um, no, so much no. For me, um, I did it because of animal welfare. I don't like if I couldn't kill something and eat it, which I would have a very hard time. To, I guess if I was starving, but I would have a very hard time justifying that while I'm just a normal person, not starving. Um, so for me, that's a really hard thing to assume that I should let someone else do for me. And um, I don't think we need to eat as much meat as we do, but it's Even fine if you do. Yeah, a lot of there, a lot of things are coming out saying you shouldn't eat as much anymore. So like we they said if it doesn't have wings or, or fins, you should eat it once a month. Yeah, but that's I don't know who that's like a spe, if that's a special thing or whatever. Yeah. But. So I'm vegetarian for that reason. Andrew just feels better processing food that isn't I mean, meat. I like to poop. <laughs> no, I, I wasn't going to say it. I don't actually like to poop. I actually think that if I could not poop, <laughs> not like that, I better knock on me. I know. Um, if I, if, if it you, wasn't a biological necessity, necessity and you could just live life and just whatever, <laughs> um, like I feel like that would be like close to being divine. <laughs> Like, do you think not, about, like, how... Not ever having to poop would be close to being I know, I'd be like, wow, that's, like, what to be, like, like a, a god on Olympus or something. Like, do they have toilets? Never had to take time out to go to the bathroom. Yeah, but, you know, some people really like it, so they may not, you know, they may not agree with that sentiment. Right. But for me, um, when we ate a lot of meat, because we used to be kind of almost Heavy, carnivorous. yeah. We were um, very much on the carnivorous spectrum. Because um, it's, 
It tastes meat, good. Meat Keen, upon it's meat. Relatively inexpensive. If you can, and I can get those manager specials at the shopping mall. Oh my gosh, I was like a wizard at that. <laughs> but anyway, so I just felt like I held on to it a lot longer, and you it made it. me real mm -hmm. uncomfortable. However, I was skinnier then, <laughs> so I don't know Fewer how this carbs because we ate more meat. <laughs> I know. I was like, we're on unintentional Atkins or whatever they call it. Yeah. So we both did it for different reasons, but we both did it for reasons. Also, and so going into vegan, like I understand that we use cows for milk and we use bees for honey and, and maybe that's not great, but I don't feel like we're not killing them generally. Um, and we're not, you know, it, I know, I know there are other things behind it. So vegans, I understand you. Um, but for me, I just don't feel the need in my life at this point to go that far because I feel like you can have a good relationship with animals and still get these things if you take care of them. Yeah. Just like having cats. We're not giving up our cats because but I'm not milking the cats. No, <laughs> no. But I mean, I don't, I don't think vegans can have animals, right? Can you? I don't actually know what that. Trying to do cause them problems. <laughs> I just don't know if you can as a vegan. Can you have an animal? Can you? As long as you don't kill it, I think you can. But you're trapping it in a place that it's not meant for to love. be. For love. It's I don't for know. For love, William. I don't know. Otherwise, you have Because they the say cows go. have to be milked, right? If they're producing. Oh, they... Yeah, but so naturally what happens <laughs> is when they give birth to the cow. Right. Then the cow, the baby calf drinks the milk and then it stops. Yeah. And then it dries up. It doesn't just all of a keep, sudden keep, keep forever. <laughs> but now they take the babies away. So anyway. Anyway. It's a whole thing. Anyway. Because I know some of y'all vegans out there. I was like, you don't have that many customers. You can't alienate <laughs> it. I'm not trying to alienate it. I'm asking a serious question because I don't know. I don't know if you can, if having a house animal is against the rules. Honestly. I think honestly. the rules are what you make. Susan says, I'm the same way, William. Norma says, I live on dairy, could never be vegan. It, it was hard. Pam was raised on a farm. Beef, pork, and chicken were the protein of choice. Michelle says, my body lacks protein and iron a lot of times, so I need to eat meat more often. That's the thing. People who are anemic more often, um, it's, it's very difficult to get enough plant-based stuff like that. Um, Sandra says, and I sitting here eating, right? Enjoy. Uh, right? Mm. She's eating chicken, rice, and tomato cheese bowl. That sounds good. It sounds good. Um, Michelle says, red meat mostly. Don't like liver, though. I used to love liver. Liver and onions, a good liver and onions. It's good. Um, Susan says, there are different levels of veganism. Same with vegetarians. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, pescatarian. Marianne says, I'm sure some vegans have pets. Susan knows vegans who have pets. See, I was that was a question because we have some vegans that we know, but I've never really asked them. I don't know about the animal liberation front because that's a more radical. Yeah. I get, and you know, that's harder for me. Like, I can understand if it's like you do your own, but when you're like, gorilla mob style and stuff and yeah. like doing things i don't know i almost had a roommate like that and he went off on this tangent we were screening for a new roommate and he <laughs> went off and he's like just started getting up and his eyes started getting wild and i was like oh, uh -oh. oh red flag red flag <laughs> red flag um like, and like i get it he's really passionate about it but he was like frothing at the mouth and stuff and like spittle was coming out and I was all like a little bit scared. Yeah. See, and that's why like we we have like that's we don't care what you eat out there. Whatever you choose to do for you, that's for you. Um, and that's why we never say like you should do this, you shouldn't do that. We used to eat meat. There's no saying we're not gonna go back to meat sometime. Um Yeah, we're pretty much not gonna do it though. <laughs> but um we talk about it sometimes sometimes it'd be a yeah, lot yeah, easier I'm making the commercials which, for yeah the food cooking. and any type of food show you watch there's generally meat um we it, went to that one 
Okay, so we went this twice, so we should have known better. <laughs> we went with Lennis once around the town. Oh. And so, basic, so you got all, all the restaurants gather in the area, and they set up, like, a, a table. And then you... All of them have a sample of like their signature dish or whatever mm -hmm. they make for that event. Yeah. And so bacon is one of those things that is relatively inexpensive and it's like a crowd pleaser and it adds a lot of like flavor and you don't have to add like a lot. Yeah. So almost 90% of the stuff was had bacon in it or some kind of meat. Yeah. And so we went to this and the tickets are not inexpensive. Mm -hmm. And we went to this thinking, oh, you know, I'm going to sample all the restaurant. We basically like got two samples. We got like cheesy bread, some pizza. And uh, the rest and was salad. called the hunger. Yeah. Because you couldn't take like eight samples from any one person. So it's like they had these little piece of pizza samples and little cheesy bread samples. And they had some salad samples. And, like, yeah. Um, and saying, I wonder how vegans can feed their pets a vegan diet. Like cats are obligate carnivores. That's part of my question. Like, how do you have a cat as a vegan and justify feeding them when you have to either kill something to do that or have a canned food that has killed something to do Did that? Did you see that one? It was like a, um, the, it was a British TV show. And the woman was talking about how her animals, they're on a vegan diet and they love it. And so they put two things of food out. One was vegan and one was a meat one. And that dog ran <laughs> to that meat and started chowing down. I don't remember that. Happy glee. I bet. And then she's like, it's just the lights. The lights make it, they're making him, the cameras are making him nervous. Dog is starving probably i don't know i don't know how you do that's part of my question like how do you have animals and not feed them meat well yeah i don't know because i mean you are taking care of the way they are naturally but the whole idea is that I'm not doing that so i don't know um oh charlie joined us over on instagram hello charlie um marion says there are vegan pet foods how cats have to eat meat i don't know maybe they don't have cats our cats eat all kinds of stuff. Meat. Yeah, like, um, they had one that had like chicken and rice and like vegetables chopped Yeah, up. there are certain vegetables and things in there. Like there's ones that Alfredo and I was like, this looks like people food. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, Michelle says, one time in my life, my red blood cells stopped producing. I had to take these shots three times a week for a year to get them working again. Yikes. Yeah, you don't need to... You don't need to... Um, you know, take any risks. You keep eating the meat. Keep that going. Um, Susan wondered that as well about feeding the animals. Suzanne says we're flexitarians. Yeah. That's good too. Um, not too much meat, but every once in a while. Uh, Michelle says I have a lot of genetic problems. That's hard. Marion says, cats do not have to eat meat, but they do prefer it. I thought they had to. I, thought I don't cats, think anything has to. I thought cats had to eat meat. Unless you're a vampire. Unless you're a vampire. Then I guess you can't have vegan substitute. I don't know. I thought I saw something recently that they have now said cats must, they are carnivores. they must eat meat. That's the whole premise of True Blood. <laughs> they came up with a blood substitute. Yeah. The vampires could live out in the open. Um, isn't spinach high in iron? Yes, it is, but it still takes quite a bit. The thing about that compared is to that red sometimes meat, sometimes you pass it quicker than your body has a chance to absorb it. You have to make sure you're absorb you're you're getting the other correct minerals to allow your body to absorb it well enough. So that's the tricky thing. I yeah. feel like you have to become almost a nutritionist to successfully do it, and also um, the way that stuff is unless you grow it yourself some of it is like real expensive i noticed mm, yeah so anyway i don't know how we got way on that tangent but that was that's interesting though i like hearing what y'all do too and your feelings on things like that and the questions we come up with right yeah i'd rather have meaningful discussions about how people live their lives and just yeah 
and just hear some beads every day and every day. Oh, and every bye, day. bye, 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 Right? That's not what we're and about. Song. Right? Or is that Backstreet Boys? One of those two. We watch some commercial and then she's like, bye, bye. And they're like, no. Nope. Yeah, I think so that's, that's, that's in sync. Um, Pam says, healthy food is much more expensive than junk food. It generally is. It generally is. I mean, I can do it. I can stretch a budget. Yeah, Andrew is good at that. I am not. Like, I buy something for a very specific purpose, generally. If I'm making a meal, I buy the stuff for the meal. Um, and it doesn't go as far. Andrew can make it stretch a lot better. Um, Marion says, veganism is not easy to do without knowing how suitable foods work together. That's for sure. Because you need to make sure that, you know, you're taking the right amounts of this thing to absorb this other thing in your body or else you're not going to get it out of the plant-based foods as easily it's a thing like and i was learning some of that as far as with with um my heart and stuff and the, the supplements i was taking like there are some like magnesiums for example that your body they're cheap you can buy lots of magnesium supplements cheap but you are not getting most of that out of it before it passes through you. Um, then there are other forms of calcium or magnesium that do that. And it's the same with calcium and potassium and the amounts that you need to keep your heart safe. You go over too many in your heart, it's dangerous actually. So you really need to kind of know, and I don't necessarily want to become a nutritionist. Luckily, my mom, luckily, my mom studies a lot of this and researches and she can tell us and tells us what to do in, in a lot of cases. But she's not a nutritionist either, but she should have been. I think she should have been in life. That would have been a good calling for her. Um, she's not dead yet. She can do whatever she wants. I know. She, yeah. I think she likes being retired. Yes, she does. I think she does. I would like to also be retired. <laughs> would you? I I'm, I finally had to do crafts all day. <laughs> That's all I had. Let's do it. Let's hello, it hello, time. Cindy. Hello, thanks for joining us. So we're excited. Um, what else do we have going on? We have a lot going on. Yeah, always. Um, we're still working on the move. Mark this on your calendar. Is, um, Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, we've been saying Memorial Day weekend, everybody. So if you want to come up and hang out with us for the grand opening in Johnstown and come see the store during the grand opening, if you're not busy Memorial Day weekend, that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we are going to be opening in Johnstown. Come hell or high water, we are I think opening. The party's going to be on the Saturday, though. The party's on the Saturday? That makes so the Friday most sense. Friday will be the soft opening, and we'll kind of judge things. Make sure everything's in order. The Saturday is going to be um, the opening mm -hmm. gala. The opening gala. That sounds fancy. Grand That's opening crazy. Saturday of Memorial Day weekend. Michelle says, yet my general doctor prescribes my vitamins. They have to be a perfect balance. Yeah. At least he does that. I don't. You don't hear about doctors trying to prescribe vitamins very often. Um, so that's good. That's good. Uh, what else is happening? Uh, Pam says, what's the closest airport? Depends where you're coming from. But there is a Johnstown Airport, the Johnstown Regional Airport. You might be able to fly into Johnstown. Other than that, is Pittsburgh is the biggest international airport. And that's about an hour and a half away. So... There you go. If y'all, if there's a bunch of people flying in, if y'all coordinate, we'll go pick you up like a bus. <laughs> right. But if it's like, if it's too staggered, then I'm not doing it. Not doing it. Not going to do it. Because we're going to be busy in theory. Um, Cindy says, would love to come and enjoy a new adventure. Um, school won't be out for my granddaughter, so I can't. Hopefully y'all go live at some point. We're going to try and remember to do that. We'll see how busy we are. Pam says, I'm in Denver. See if you can. That's a cheap flight, Denver to Pittsburgh. Denver to Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh to Johnstown. No, Might that's be able to more do it. expensive. I don't know how the regional airports work because sometimes the well, maybe check. Also, Latrobe. There's Latrobe. That's, so if that's you're in Florida, if you're Orlando, Orlando or Fort Worth, I think 
Fort Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. Used to be, but I don't know if, I don't know if they still, still are. At least but Orlando. Like they're Orlando. You can fly like up here for like thirty five dollars each way. Yeah. So that's cheaper than gas. <laughs> it's much cheaper than gas, and much shorter than like a eighteen hour drive. Two days drive. Right. So that's happening. Memorial Day weekend. We have two spare bedroom, two spare beds. <laughs> Maybe. It but depends. They're currently being junked up. So yeah, don't also count our on house that. Is humble. So if you come in thinking it's gonna be the rich, don't count on that. Just put your expectations real low, <laughs> and then whatever you have will be higher than less uh -huh. than not. Um, Michelle says that really is cheaper than gas. Yeah, it's like 70 bucks to fly here and back to Orlando if you get it on the, the good deal. Yeah, there's all these programs that you can sign up for. All there's stuff. extra, but yeah, but generally 50 to $60 each way is easy to find. So that's much cheaper than gas. Um, Norma says, I'd like to come, but I don't get on the highway on holiday weekends. Start earlier. Come up earlier. Where's your, your friend was in Pittsburgh, right? Pam says, you're talking about my spare bedroom. <laughs> yeah, ours is a mess right now. It was very pristine for It was the only room in the years. house that was like pretty much untouched. You go in there and be just like, ah, ready to go. Ready to go. And now it is not. But no, because we're in the middle of the move. Yeah. Once we get the store all moved out of the house. That should be good. I don't know how we're going to do it because we still have more furniture than we have um, space. Yes. So we're going to have to do some creative shuffling. Yep. Or some selling slash giving away of furniture. Yeah, we're just furniture store now. Furniture store now. We thought about doing that um, before we actually got this, the place open, setting up a little furniture store and selling off some of the stuff. Um, but that was just even more work. So Suzanne says to come up early and get a tattoo first. Visit Suzanne, get a tattoo, then y'all can ride up to here. How about that? Um, the tattoo, Suzanne? Suzanne's always getting a tattoo, right? Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, lots of, lots of good stuff happening. Um, <clears throat> What else is happening? That's about it for now. Tomorrow I'm going to try and get some mowing done, depending on how early we finish up here tonight. Um, anybody who got anything during yesterday's miscellaneous Monday lots, I have invoiced for those. So if you didn't get an invoice or you didn't get one on your invoice that you thought you were going to get, you didn't get it. Um, Unless you claimed after nope. you... Nope. Nope. All done. All I'm all caught up. All caught up. So everybody should have gotten them unless it went into my spam earlier today. That's the only possibility. Um, Does anybody say what kind of designs they want for the enamel? No. The luster particularly. Suzan says, gotten and paid. Nice. Thank you. Um, no, no one said what kind of designs they want. That's not, I can't guarantee anything. And something just flashed through my brain, and now I forget because I you said that. Oh, I don't wow. remember. Oh, well. Um, something I was talking about, the lots are done. Da, 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 da. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll think about it before we're done. Um, so let me flip the camera around. Let's get this show on the road, everybody. Marianne's crying in her beads. Crying in, why are you crying in the beads, Marianne? Why? Because you can't come visit us? Probably, right? That's probably what it is. Um, Anne says, I want that little cat from the sample sale on the enamel. The luster? Wants it on the luster. Um, we'll see. The <laughs> thing about that is that the, some designs, if it's just uh, if it's just a cat, there's too much extra space around it. So it doesn't it has to be kind of like an all over, like a pattern or a scene or something. But we can test it. See what it looks like. See what it looks like. All right. I have more testers. So. We do. We have more testing samples. 
All right, everybody, let me flip this around and let's get started. Um, in case you missed it, we're doing vintage Chinese ceramic hand glaze ceramic beads. All the lots tonight. They'll have a little card with them like we normally have, but they're only a dollar a pair tonight. They're only a dollar a pair. We've averaged everything. Yes. Out. So no matter how big or how small, it's a dollar a pair. Makes it easy for you all, makes it easy for us. Um, uh, Marion says, because I only got one of the two I requested and can't come to Johnstown. I know, I know. Uh, what were they on for the sample sale? That was good even if it wasn't luster. Those were just a matte enamel that mm -hmm. they were on. But those were the tiny, were, I guess we only did the cats and the tiny ones, right? Or did you do a bigger one? I can't Maybe remember. One, bigger, one bigger one. Most of them were the tiny ones. We haven't done tiny luster yet. No, we're not going to. <laughs> he says we're not doing because that. Because it's the same amount of work and it's less money. So, no. He's like, nope. Um, Norma says, I still want a dragon. Okay. Baby dragon? Baby, The baby dragon or a different kind of dragon? The baby dragon might translate. The baby dragon might. Um... Not the ornate baby dragon, probably, but the no, regular one. On yeah. Okay, everybody. Let me flip this camera around. Hello. And we will get this show on the road. Okay, there's the penny. Oh, if you're in Memphis, starting May 1st, the opening of the show that I curated at the Metal Museum... I hope and pray that people go to it so they ask me to come back and do more curation. Mm -hmm. If you go, make sure to tell them specifically <laughs> that you're there to see the show. No place like home. Because they're not going to know otherwise. They're going to think you're there for something else. Just for them. Yeah. I need, <laughs> I need to uh, do a call to action. Get yeah, you all do. All the people that I know. In that area, pass them by. Go stop there, see that show real good and hard. Real good and hard. Take lots of pictures. Do it, everybody. Tag everybody on social media. And um, that's another thing. We we're trying to. Th so originally, I was going to go down for the fire conference, but um, since we moved the opening of the store, I'm not going to be able to go anymore. So. Um, we're going to try to go down in the beginning of May. Um, probably start driving at the end of April and then uh, go there on the beginning of May for the opening. They don't actually have an opening opening. Um, but so we're going to go earlier and then we both can go. Because before it was just going to be me. Just you. And then now William gets to go too, maybe. Maybe. If oh. you want to be supportive of me, <laughs> oh, listen to him. Here he goes. You know, you don't have to if you don't want to. Says, so, you know, you don't have to be supportive of me if you don't want. You know, I understand if you don't. <laughs> All right, everybody. There's other things you can do. There's other things you can do. All right, everybody. These are CC lots for Chinese ceramic. Let me put the banner up across the scrolling banner to purchase from this video. Take down each lot number, for example, CC1. Send it to us in an email at info at allegorygallery.com. Please send a brand new email every time. Do not send your um, Reply. replies. Yeah, do not reply to your own emails to send it again. All right. I saw somebody else try to do that last night. So Yeah, please don't. Just know. New emails every you know, time. Even though it sounds like we're a broken record sometimes. It still happens. It still happens. So people forget. I also saw somebody try to claim in the Instagram. Yeah, that happens too. Can't do it. Only through email. Yeah, that makes it easier and fair. And then you have an easy life that way. Yeah. So this is CC1. They're a dollar. I put a dollar here. It's really a dollar a pair. I'll show you. There are five pairs available. That's what that number means. And this is your first pair. CC1. One dollar gets you both of these beads. 
ceramic Chinese vintage hand glazed. CC one. Five pairs available at only one dollar a pair. Isn't that a good deal? I thought so. Yeah, I think so. These are great. Um, where did I put the? Where are the samples? Where was that one you made? I'm gonna show you one that Andrew had made before. I set it right over there. They were over there, and then they moved it. Oh, what'd you do? There. What'd you do? So these are some samples of ones that Andrew has done. This was wax. Irish linen. Yeah, the waxed Irish linen um, goes through the, a lot of these beads. They have nice big holes in general. And so he made this little knotted bracelet. This is some vintage Chinese ceramic. Really pretty. And then he also did this one at one point. I think this was a kit we had the vintage Chinese ceramic in. And this was made using that kit. So just to give you an idea, this is one of our cutouts that he embellished. The bear cutout. Yeah. So there you go. So different ways you can use these. I'm sure you all can come up with ways too, but just to show you, they look really pretty. If you want to do uh, AG Live Challenge. AG Live Challenge. Uh-oh. Let me, let me get the banner. He says he's got to got to give me a heads up. AG live challenge everybody. Did you use to use uh, Chinese ceramic if you got from us before? If you've gotten any chi vintage Chinese ceramic beads from us before and made something with it, put it in the design challenges group over there on Facebook. We want to see it. So that's the AG live challenge for today. You can hashtag AG live challenge in the design challenge group. This is for any vintage Chinese ceramic beads you've gotten from us and made something. Let's see it in the design challenges group. You know, in theory, we should do that after. I know. We sell it, but oh well. <laughs> We've sold these before, though. Mm -hmm. if you're new. Pam says, oh, I'm wearing my opal necklace today. I love it. Awesome. I'm glad it made it okay, and you are able to wear it. That's great. Now, um, just so you know, I would probably restring it at some point, just because when we bought those, they were already strung up as necklaces, um, and um, they are very good and they work really well. Mm -hmm. But sometimes over time, they, they have a tendency of coming undone. So, yeah. So consider consider restringing at some point. If not. Just know that that may may have an uh, issue later. Yeah. If you and take care of it, it should last you a while, though. And it would take a little quick to restring it, yeah. to be honest. Because if you just pinch off an inch, it would like, take less than 10 minutes to restring. All right. CC number two, $1. We have seven pairs available. And it's these beautiful floral beads. Seven pair available only. CC two. One dollar a pair. Only one dollar a pair. All right. And because most of these have multiple pairs available, I'm not gonna be telling you if they sell out because I won't be able to keep track of all of them. Um, Unless we get to ones that are like, there's one available, then I'll let you know. CC3. There are 15 pairs of these available. And these are really, really nice. They've got like these creatures. This one's a snake creature. And I don't know, something else on there. I don't know what that is, but I always love these. Um, beautiful colors, only a dollar a pair. CC3. Has anybody claimed anything yet? 
We've gotten one claim so far. Okay. I was tempted to make larger lots, but I we kind of went back and forth, and we know that sometimes when you do that, it's cost prohibitive for clubs. Yeah. We wanted you to be able to choose what you wanted today. Well, you can still choose what you want. You just pay less. Yeah. In theory. Yeah, if you want six pair, then you can choose to do that. All right, CC4. CC4, $1 for the pair. There are six pairs available. These are these little peaches. These little peaches. Uh, I like these ones a lot. On the black background, the white and gold. Super, super nice. One pair, one dollar. CC4, six pairs available. I think that's just be a good luck symbol. Peaches? Each is usually immortality. Which is immortality. Okay, CC5. 17 pairs available. And it's these. CC5, $1 per pair. How are y'all liking these? You know, it's on days that we're not ready to go with the enameling, but the kiln ramps up super fast. Because <laughs> there are times when... Um, it takes forever for the kiln to get ready. Maybe it's because it's a little bit warmer. It's warmer in here now today. Who's getting hot weather? CC6. There are only two pairs of these available. Hello, Sally. Thanks for joining us today. Only two pairs of these available. I love those. I know. It, if these aren't the start to people purchasing, I don't know what will get people going. We'll break the seal. Right? CC6. Look at all those flowers. Vintage Chinese ceramic, $1 a pair, two pairs available, CC6. We do have 50 lots tonight, right, Andrew? All right. So we're going up to 50. Hopefully you all like it. I know. You buy one of each, you spend $50. Plus shipping. Plus shipping. Unless you've already bought some shipping. Good. Yeah, you can get one of every lot tonight for 50 bucks. <laughs> this is, there are three pairs of these available. So I can get them out of here. CC7. I'm in the mood for chips, so I hope y'all um, order a bunch. <laughs> what we got sold now is not going to pay for the chips. Right. Maybe like. A How heavy are these beads? Too heavy for earrings? No. no. These are super light. These are like porcelain. They're a very fine ceramic. So they are su They probably are porcelain. Um, a lot. Most vendors call them Chinese porcelain um, because we're not 100% sure of all of them. We call them Chinese ceramic. Um, but That's most places... You, yeah, I think they are mostly porcelain based. So they are super light. Um, so if you didn't know, <clears throat> when porcelain hits a certain temperature, it goes through a process where it vitrifies and makes a glossy surface, which you think is really neat. Yeah. Cheryl says, hi, watching from the Brewers game. Hello, Cheryl. Thanks for tuning in. So, is like we said, not very interesting? If <laughs> he's like, is the game not interesting? Where is she just likes us, Andrew. It's okay. Wow. Some, some people like us. Um, okay. <laughs> do they? Um, so yeah, for a dollar a pair, you're getting a pair of earrings pretty much for a buck. 
and then you can sell it on however much you want. But you can make, imagine getting one of each pair of these, making a pair of earrings out of each one, and then having such an assortment at your next show. You'll have a collection at your next show of 50 pair. You got to sell like three pairs to make up all that money only. <clears throat> I think that's a really good idea. I think that's a really good idea. It looks like my email wasn't working because I just got a bunch of claims that filtered in. Or did so. you just feel bad when I talk about chips? <laughs> chips. <laughs> Maybe that too. Maybe that too, but they all came in all at once. So Start crying for the thing for chips. I know. They all One came time in. Willing so we can afford um, uh, a went, McDonald's pie. He wanted to stop and get a McDonald's pie. And I was like, no, we're not spending the extra money right now. And I was like, that's 50 cents, bro. <laughs> a dollar. They're a um, dollar pies. We're doing something wrong in life <laughs> if I can't have a pie. I, I fixated on that pie. It's been several years since this happened. I know. I still, I still remember pie. this. This. I'll probably never forget that it's the insecurity, the pie issue. The pie issue. Yeah, that was, those were some drastic times. Um, CC. Shake the car out and probably <laughs> CC8, $1, 10 pair available. 10 pairs available. And they look like pairs, kind of. No, these are, these are those little, these are those, like little maple leaves. Maple spinners, the ones that are together. Sometimes they grow together like that, right? Is that another kind of seed pod? A different kind of maple, maybe? So CC8. I'm going to start refreshing my email more often here. I don't know why it just all come in. And by the way, are we streaming okay? Are we choppy again today? Or was that a yesterday only thing? I just want to make sure because I am streaming here and watching on my iPad. So it's streaming both places. So I just want to make sure. Um, let's see here. C, C9. So far, so good, says Marian. Thank you. Much better today. Good. Yeah, I don't know what was going on yesterday. Maybe because Andrew was on it too, but to of course. CC9. You know, I had to hold my phone that entire meeting. <laughs> we never did check your computer to see if it's working again. CC9, $1 a pair. There are 18 pairs of these. And remember, if you want more than one, put CC9 times five when you send it. And then we'll we'll give you up to the amount we have remaining um, from your request. First come, first serve. Yeah, it's always first come, first serve. These are a really pretty kind of um, gray, black, and like that carnelian color. These would go great with some carnelian. Did you, who grabbed that carnelian yesterday? Um, or that red, red agate. Did y'all like yesterday? Did you like the miscellaneous lots yesterday? We went real random yesterday. Yeah. Some people, a lot of people were sad they did not get that one pack of the David Christensen glass. I'm sure I've gotten those somewhere. But that was all black, white, and red. I don't know if we have more of that or not. Some people asked and they said, I don't know if we have it, but if we come across it anytime soon, I'll let you know. I think I may have found the pack. All right. CC10. There are only three pairs of these available. These are really special. I think these are going to sell out. Um, they're these. Black and white. Who doesn't like black and white? Who doesn't love black and white? Now, I don't know. These these are getting a little bit heavy, but I think you could still do them as earrings. I mean, it depends on your ear. Yeah, it depends on everybody's ear, right? But Because I had some that were super lightweight, and somebody was like, 
not of the of the ceramic. But I had some super lightweight earrings, and somebody was like, ah, "I could never wear that. That's so heavy." <laughs> but they only had studs in, so yeah. So CC10, there are only three pairs available. One has sold. Two have sold. There's one pair of these left, CC10. If you like those, grab it soon. Um, I think these ones will sell out. Everyone loves the black and white, right? <clears throat> What's her name, Iris? Apple. Apple, how you say her last she was really into the earrings. Yes, she was. And um, she must have, I don't know, 30 ears ago. <laughs> CC11, seven pairs available of these. Black and white again. CC11, these are a little bit smaller than the other ones. These, I think, could easily be earrings. No question on those, generally. CC11. One dollar a pair, seven pairs available. Hand glazed Chinese ceramic. These would go great with like bone beads, the ebony, the wood beads. Yeah, I love these. Yeah, these are great. Um, I had some um, at one point we did a trunk show with somebody and sent some, and they sold a ton of these beads. So. Yeah. I mean, when you really think about it, making a pair of earrings, like I said, for $50, you could get one of each lot tonight and make 50 pairs of earrings for $50. Well, and ear wire and stuff. Plus ear wires. But if you already have that stuff, you're not spending any more. Mm -hmm. Charge $12 a pair and you sell four pair and you're, you're breaking even on your beads. So um, CC10 has sold out. CC11, no claims yet on CC11. You don't like those ones as much. <clears throat> or maybe it's my email. Could be my email still. CC12, maybe you'll like these ones, everybody. Oops. This one's in the wrong bag. So <clears throat> that's one less pair of these. So there are nine pairs of these available. Where is that? Unless you have another one of that. I do. Okay. So there are 10 pairs of these available. Um, CC12. Sometimes we had one left over, um, which makes a good thing. This is the one that goes with the other one. Put that in there for Barb. Okay. Getting this situated here, everybody. Just noticed that. Okay. CC12 are these. These little, I, I think of these as like, they look like little drums to me. But I think they're so cool. And if you got some of the long black and white ones, maybe you want these as dangles at the end, um, where you can make these into their own thing. CC12, 10 pair available. $1 per pair. Oh, and anyone, I was talking about, um, see, they tricked me last night. I said our, our email was filling up. It is not. Um, that, that was a phishing scheme trying to get me to give them my password. So be careful, be careful everybody. Be careful. So this is CC12. There are 10 pair available only. A few people have claimed We've sold five. We've sold half of CC12 so far. None of CC11. That surprises me. Those are some of my favorites. No, you don't. You really don't. Because I was like, these, there's, these, I said, these are going to sell out. No. So strange, right? Okay. CC13. These are really cool. These look like knots. Me. CC 13. There are 27 pairs available, so we probably won't sell these unless somebody wants to make a whole collection of them. Do it. Do it. Only $27 to get them all. CC 13. 
These look like woven, like basket woven things or knotted beads. Oh, there goes some CC 11. Some people are claiming. See? I knew somebody had to like them. CC 13. I think some people are watching behind a oh, little bit. Line. Yeah. CC 13, because they're coming out, they're coming more out of order normally than normal today. So these are really pretty. Like I said, they look basket woven. I didn't even show you. I was going to show you my basket, my woven thing that I did. Um, I'll show you that later. Pam says, had to potty the dogs. What did I miss? You missed 12 lots so far. 12 lots so far. Um, but there's a number of each lot. Like, there's 27 of these available. So, Pam, stay with us live now. And then go back and watch the replay is what I would suggest. Get the things that are live now. Because some of the ones coming up, we have fewer of. Okay, so CC13. We've sold a number of these. So we have 27 available. We're now down to about 21. I think we sold about six lots of those. They're only a dollar a pair. Crazy, crazy talk. Just sold two more of those. Thank you so much. All right, CC 14. Now these are kind of similar to the last one in some ways, except in these where the other ones were black, these are actually carved out. <clears throat> so these are kind of like a knotted look, but um, sometimes the glaze comes over them, but sometimes they're actually hollow in there. They're just a cool look. There are 13 of these available. These are really, really pretty light blue, kind of sky blue. Sally said, yeah, it's weird. I'm watching on YouTube through my phone and Roku TV, and my TV is at least a minute ahead of my phone. Strange. Sometimes that happens. Usually on YouTube, though, you can push the push that little bar along the bottom and get yourself up to very current. Sometimes it starts a little back, but you can usually push yourself ahead. Facebook... Um, doesn't allow you to rewind. YouTube does. Sometimes it gets stuck, though, in the rewind a little bit. <clears throat> Sandra says, those look like alien faces. Maybe I'm tired. I don't know. Maybe. No, these. Oh, I can't see that the before. little blue. Maybe, right? It could be little alien heads. I like these ones, CC14. I just think they're really pretty color. Let me show you more of them so that you can see them. Sometimes you want to see a bunch of them, right? I should show you maybe more than a pair entice you. Look if you were holding all those. That's only $4 right there. Well, that's $4 right there. CC14. Sometimes it gives you an idea of what they'd look like if you had more of them, right? She says, I mean, they're cute. I like them. Yeah, why not? You want to make alien heads? Surprise, Andrew doesn't have a tutorial on that. Make alien heads. Yeah, you never got into aliens much. Yeah, I like Star Trek, but I'm not really into You know, there's, um, I remember I made these, um, I think I made fairies or skulls or something, and some somebody said, "Why I hate these? These look like garbage. Why don't you make alien heads instead?" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my gosh, that's so random." Right. <laughs> like I was just like, "Oh, you? I don't know." So these are CC15. There are only three pairs of these available. These are yellow, blue, and black flowers. Only three pairs of those available. Let me show you another pair just so you can see them all together. Yeah, the kind of crazy things people sometimes say, being very um, mean, whether they know it or not. I mean, when you call something like disgusting or something, though, it's 
It's pretty hard to use that word and not know that you're being mean. Do you know some people don't know? Because <laughs> um, one of I thought one of our in-person friends said something like that, and I was like, a little bit taken aback. Yeah. You know that at this point, I don't care. He's allowed to care now. One of the things that's going to happen is everybody's going to have an opinion about everything. And there, you know? It's all based on their life. Mm -hmm. Everyone's opinion is and has nothing to do with you. It's based on them. You know that I do hold back um, because I have, and you, you made a comment about this the other day, um, is that I have a lot of stuff that's like really bizarre. Um, even from my kind of perspective, and I don't show that kind of stuff because I don't know why I don't show it. Because I guess I don't want to deal with um, negative comments. Right, because he tends to get a lot more than most people. Um, so this is CC16. We have that or I don't post. Right, these are 16 lots available, 16 pairs available. These little shorty drums. I like these a lot. I'm showing you a bunch of them here so you can see what they look like. But they're a dollar a pair, and 16 pairs are available. Off the Rack Designs joined us. Catch Your Dream Co. joined us on Instagram. Thank you both so much for being here. We're doing a live show on vintage Chinese porcelain beads. AG live challenge. Let's let's say that again here, everybody. AG live challenge. If you've gotten vintage Chinese ceramic or porcelain beads from us before, post them in the Allegory Gallery Design Challenges group on Facebook. Show us the designs you've made with them. We'd love to see it. All right. These ones are a little bit harder to see. Let me hold them up close here. They have kind of a gray, like a silver on gray, but it's like a silvery gray color on the black background with the white. These are very, um, uh, I don't know what's the word. Like you don't see them. They're not so blatant. They're a little bit more mysterious, but you catch the flash of that, the silver and they look good. So a little bit understated. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. But I like them a lot. You get a pair of them for a dollar. And there are only five pairs of those available. Five pairs of those available. CC 17. I see a few people are almost claiming a few, like one of every other one. So you're going to, I can't wait to see what y'all make with these. Get these out into the world. We've often we've done some of these sales on these before, but I don't think we've ever sold as many as we're doing tonight. We're like showing you like we put them in kits once in a while. We've done a live show on a few of them, but this is like you're seeing a lot of Andrew's collection of these tonight. Not all of them still, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're spread around quite a bit. Okay. CC18, we have 14 pairs of these. These have the yin yang symbol with the green and kind of orangey red with the yellow around. CC18, you like the yin yang symbol? I think that's that kind of, I think that's coming back. This lost me in our group. Mm hmm. Was it Cheryl that did the yin yang? Cheryl or Janet? Can't remember. Who did the, the yin yang? Was that Cheryl? Was that Janet? Gesundheit. They both went um, and made those from been making a bunch of stuff. Off of the moving mountains. Yeah. Sorry. I think it was Cheryl now that you now that I'm thinking about it. I might be wrong. Norma says I think Cheryl too. Yeah, I think Cheryl maybe did that. So this is CC18, $1 a pair. Where else did we see the yin-yang symbol again? It was on a show or a movie recently. Avatar. 
Avatar. Was it Avatar? And then fish. Oh, with the fish. But I thought that we saw something else too. Can't remember now. But yeah, I've been seeing the yin yang symbol around a lot lately again. I, don't even think in the I was just going to say, when we were growing up, those formative years, the yin yang symbol, and I think it's coming around again. I feel it. Needing the balance, needing to restore the balance. Yeah, needing to restore balance, right? All right. There are only two pairs of these. And there they are, both pair. These little dash dot designs. So that's a pair. And there's the other pair. CC19, only two pair available. CC19, only two pairs available. And those are sold. Thank you so much. CC20. CC20. Here's that, that like the Peruvian ceramic yesterday, that bird motif. There's the birds again. And these are done in kind of the brown on the white, which is really pretty. And CC20, there are only five of these pairs available. Five of these pairs available. These are a little bit larger. Um, where's my caliper? There they are. Because these are bigger. I should be doing this for them, for all of you, but I didn't think about it till just now. Nobody asked. 18 millimeters, about 18 millimeters for the CC20. And only, ooh, as I almost dropped one, there was almost only four pairs available. Um, we are now down to on these three pair available. Thank you so much. My spreadsheet's gonna look long tonight with all these $1. Dollar, dollar. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Down to one pair left of CC20. One pair left of CC20. CC21. This is a very, very pretty design. This little vase with, um, it's like the gold on the kind of beige vase. I think these are super pretty. There are only four pairs available. You're seeing them all right here. Let me see if I can show you, whoop, show you up close. That kind of gold, reflective gold. There are now two pairs of these available. Norma says, I have those. Aren't they pretty? Did you make anything with them, Norma? Do the AG Live Challenge. If you did, put it in the Design Challenge group. So there you go. Cheryl says, love those. Aren't they awesome? CC21, two pair left. Two pairs left. Norma says, not yet. I have to make something quick, Norma. Get that AG Live challenge out there. Just whip up some earrings right now, right? <laughs> Put you to work. Put you to work. I'm not fame, though. Huh? I'm not fame stuff. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Y'all want a quick tutorial? What? We got to work tonight. We're doing how fast. How fast? Maybe four minutes. Oh, four minutes is not bad. CC20, CC22, two pairs available only. Two pairs available. CC22. 
Norma says, I rarely do earrings. Yeah, I'm coming to think of it, I haven't seen you do earrings much. And um, how many who do we have on the, how many of those do we have? CC21. Yeah, we still have one pair of CC21. This is CC22, only two pairs available. There they are. I love those. I know. One pair of these now available. Right. Marion says CC22 looks familiar. Maybe. We might have used it in a kit. There's only two of them available, so we it may have... Other yeah, it does. It does. Are you jumping in here now? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, don't get too wild. That's not. Don't get too wild. That kiln's no. on. All right. So, hello, everyone. Hopefully my nails aren't disgusto. All right, so hello, it's me, Andrew. I just caught that bead that I dropped. Amazing. <laughs> so hello. Um, so I have these two little dragon beads. These are the Chinese ceramic, aka porcelain. Isn't that cute? Look at his little face. The books I'm reading right now. Is this going to be available later? Of course. <laughs> The book I'm reading right now, this is a series about this Chinese dragon named Tim Air. I'm saying it wrong. But it's by Naomi Novak, and I'm on like book six of nine. <laughs> anyway, so I thought of this, even though he's a black dragon, so don't look too close. All right, so I've got these head pins. Um, these are our gold. This one's kind of crusty. I need to do something about that. Um, so I've got these two head pins. All I'm going to do is string up these little two jade rounds, like so. Which we have jade rounds in our online store. Oh, dyed do we? Jade. All yeah. different colors of dyed jade. These might be a real, the real thing, though. Yeah. Maybe. All right. So, um, I have these little jump rings. And what I'm going to do with these jump rings is I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and put them in the back so that they all get covered and smash it. And that's going to do two things. It's going to work hard in them a little bit. And these are not serrated ones, right? No, we want to have, um, you know, uh, not mark up our metal. And so I'm going to put these on. And generally speaking, people use jump rings to connect things, but I feel like um, you can also use them as spacers. Marion says tem -er -er temerary. I don't think that's how it's pronounced. It's temerary. <laughs> I don't know. I'm listening to the audiobooks. So it's French. So, all right. So then I put the jump rings. And then I've got these little bead caps. These were really popular in like the 50s. Um, and if you buy a lot of costume jewelry, um, I usually, I buy a lot of, I used to, when I couldn't afford uh, beads, I used to go to like thrift stores and um, eBay and different things like that. And I would buy a bunch of costume jewelry and then I would cut it up. And a lot of times I would get like this whole, um, big, um, I had a whole bunch of these little bead caps because they used to use these a lot. Um, so I strung that on and then I'm going to string my, uh, vintage Chinese porcelain bead like so. And then I'm going to string up another one of those bead caps and look at that. And then all I'm going to do is use my round nose pliers. I know everybody wire wraps differently. This is the way the I wire wrap. You don't have to tell me. I know it's different. <laughs> so I made my loop. Maybe make that a, a, a slower loop. <laughs> you did that so fast for a tutorial. Well, okay. Some people might like Gently grab 
your round nose pliers, <laughs> also called rosary pliers, like so. Adjust this where you are approximately half an inch above the top of your bead and bend it over. You all have this rounded paper clip top shape like that. Then you'll reinsert your pliers. If you want to have consistent loops, you can also write on your pliers um, and with a Sharpie marker. Um, mine, I just, I don't know. I probably wore a groove in it. <laughs> um, these ones, then you gently flip this over, wrapping this around. So that makes like he's making a karate chop. Hiya! See, that's the arm or the foot or whatever. And then I put this back onto the pliers. And then I move this like so, so that there's a loop. And this is coming off at a 90 degree angle. I reinsert these. Um, if you see these have a little opening, I might just put it on now. If you if you don't have an opening and this is soldered shut or, or manufactured completely closed, then you would do this like this. These, they have a little split so you can open and close these whenever you want. Um, I love lever back earrings because you don't need those little, those little silicone boogers that get lost. <laughs> All right, I slip that on. Then with my round nose pliers, it's probably better to use chain nose pliers if you have them. But um, I'm gonna hold this like this. I'm using this finger to hold the ear wire out of the way. And then I'm gonna use these, the chain nose pliers, to wrap it. Um, some people will wrap with their fingers, but you know what ends up happening is that little sharp, the end of the wire gets sharp, the end of that head pin gets sharp. And um, it can be where it cuts your fingers in a micro cut. And so you may not notice it at first, but then when you go to cut the limes for your margarita, then um, then you'll feel the, the burning like hellfire in your fingertips. And then that's probably why, right? So I've got this like this. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my chain of pliers. I'm gonna gently bend it like so. See how I've got that? It's almost like the eye of the hurricane. Like a, ooh. All right. Got this bent in a little bit. And see how I go? See how I go? Like this, eye of the hurricane. All right. And then when I go and I tuck this in, I'm doing the demo. So hopefully this works. Because sometimes if you do the demo, then it don't work. <laughs> um. So Especially I got live. I know. That's like the curse of demos. But that kind of worked. All right, so what happens is, in theory, when you go and you push this in, then it's going to conform to your loop or your, your coil. Otherwise, it's always going to stick straight out. Did you know about that? Did y'all know that that's a thing that happens? All right, because it does, and then you're like wearing them and it gets caught, and then you're like, what happened? Why, why am I have this issue in my life? Well, I didn't think I was gonna have this issue in my life, and then you do, and then you're like, what? All right, let me get this. All right, this this ear head pin may be shorter. All right, and notice I'm not holding on. I've seen people where they hold on and they don't let go of the wire. And then it makes this really weird, like chewed up look at the end of the wire. I'm like, why, why you do that? Like you're allowed to let go. Yeah, you let go, free yourself. All right, the screen went red. Red. All right, there you go. Now I'm back in non sepia tone, <laughs> olden time photos. And then just tuck that business in, tuck that tail in. Like you did something wrong. All right, there you go. How quick was that? Probably I could have done that faster. I could have done that like a Barry I don't Allen. Know if that was four minutes. How many minutes? <laughs> Ten minutes? You made me slow down. <laughs> Barry Allen, <clears throat> the Flash. So look, how about that? You don't think I can sell that for maybe five dollars? <laughs> maybe five dollars i think maybe 10 10 to 12 i, I would say easy. maybe even more 
yeah. 16. <clears throat> but some of y'all go to the shows like, I can't do anything more than $12 for earrings, $10 for earrings. You could still make lots of money on these. Look, the dragon. I, if I post this in one of them, Tammy Air. Uh, <laughs> trauma tear. I know. Why are we selling these beads then? You're going to post them in there. I'm going to make them trauma tear. You're going to make these in less than four minutes. And then somebody may like that. But then they're going to be like, then I know what's going to happen. They're like, he's not black, like in the books. <laughs> He's black in the books. He has wings. He's not red with a green ruff. Pam says, Andrew, you're hilarious tonight. That's how I am all the time. With William around. Otherwise, generational trauma talk. <laughs> Y'all want to cry? The hour of power. Haven't had an hour of power lately. For this now. <laughs> that was, now, is that was it. Now. now is the power. Now is the time. That's a craft reference. Let's leave those up there so y'all can... See, that was pretty quick. You can do that quick, everybody. Now take it away so they don't think you get it. You no. don't get that, no. I made that as a sample. Because <laughs> I'm going to sell you, those for $18. You, did you like how you can use that jump ring? They, when they visit, there's different colors everywhere. There are other colors of dragons. Oh, right? the one she's white with red eyes. Yeah, what do you think about using a jump ring like that? Did you ever think about using it like she, that? That one's probably I, I probably could have made that jump ring a little bit smaller and it would fit a little bit nicer. But that for a four minute tutorial, that's what you get. <laughs> so here are maybe turkeys. Ibis. That's an ibis. That's an ibis, bro. Is it? Okay. Ibis. So it's an ibis. It's, you know, like bird psycho. So there you go. Ibis. Oh, I see. Those are mountains in the background. Could be wings. Could be wings. Ibis. Ibis. CC23. Ibis beads. Five lots available only. Or Five crane. pair available. Their leg not that long though. Ibis short leg. Five pairs available. These are pretty cool. I think you'll like these. If you like those other brown ones with the birds flying, there we go. Starting already. Down to four pairs available of those. All right. I'm getting hungry. Might have to go home in between. Might have to go home in between. I didn't eat today. I did not feed the cats. Not tonight yet. Like, started that killing up started that killing up for nothing again. Hungry. Gently weep. I'll bring you food. CC twenty four. CC twenty four. We have one pair of twenty three left. And these are twenty four with these beautiful kind of carnelian color the lapis blue color these little pink flowers the green stems see all those kind of stones that could go with that rose quartz lapis sodalite carnelian emerald jade you could pair a lot of different stuff with those add a little Dangle stone makes a little, some, little, little, and there are six pairs of those available. CC24. How pretty are those? All hand glazed, everybody. Glazed by hand. CC24. One dollar a pair. One dollar a pair. Okay, CC25 coming up. That marks the halfway point of today's show. There are 15 pairs of these available, and they look like this each. Kind of remind me of a soccer ball, right? I'm sure they mean something other than that, but they're also beige, beige and brown, not black and white. But I love these. They are drilled top to bottom like that. CC 25. 
15 pairs available. 15 pairs available on those. Did you like the quick the quick earring tutorial, everybody? Does that make you feel empowered to be able to use these beads a little easier? The hour of power. The hour of power. The hour of, yeah. Or no, or is it just like, I know how to make earrings. One time I was at a show, um, and uh, I was talking about these beads, and, and like all the things you could do with them, and the woman said, I don't need help designing. I prefer <laughs> to shop in silence. And I went, all right. <laughs> At least she told you. I know. I was like, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> it's usually the that when that per the person like that does that, then they ask you a question in the next sentence. Um, you know, I don't know how that works. I mean, we actually got along, but um, that was real abrupt. <laughs> Like, whoa. Whoa. These are little fishy beads. No, but I get it. Because sometimes I'm at a booth and I got like 10 minutes to shop. And then they start talking about they, their kids and their stuff. And then like, I'm I ain't like, got time got for that. Focus, bro. You got like the little mossy thing, the little algae things down in here with the fish. Aren't these cute? That's for good luck. CC26, a dollar a pair, nine pairs available on those. Good luck, fish. Correct. I just love this little algae scape because this is like exactly what our lake used to look like. You'd look down in there with the fish and you'd see these little green stems of things floating around while growing in there. Reminds me of that. CC26. CC27, these are beautiful dark blue beads with the beautiful flowers. Look like roses there. You got one, a bud on there. And then you've got, looks like two buds on that one. Some of them have more, there are two buds two buds and then an open blossom cc 27 cc 27 nine pairs only of those available <clears throat> you want another tutorial who wants another tutorial, everybody? Say yes or no in the comments. You just want to buy these? I'm not going to get it if you don't want to hear my voice. Do you want to see a tutorial? What's the tutorial? Earrings, bro. Another pair? You want to see another earring tutorial, everybody? He's gotten his little mini anvil. He's gotten some wire out. I can put it away, too, if you're like, man. Nah. He's like, no pressure, y'all. CC28. CC28 are these multiple flower blossoms. You got yellow, orange, and pink on there on the blue background. These are super sweet. They kind of look like it's these ones. Those. Is these them those? Not quite exactly the same. These are the ones we just showed you though, with the two ones in the flower. But these are a little bit different. I mixed them. Um... There you go. CC28. Michelle wants to see a tutorial. Marianne wants a tutorial. Pam wants a tutorial. Norma wants a tutorial. All right. Do it. There are 16. Sally says, yes, please. Another Andrew tutorial. These are 16 pairs of those available. CC28. All right. Okay, let me get out of the way here. So for today's project, we're going to be using our vintage Chinese ceramic rondelles. All right, I got these. See these? This is the one we got. The mini drums. Um, we also need a bench block of some sort. Um, we also need 
um, a mallet of some sort. You might need to raise the camera. Yeah, we might have to do that off camera because I'm going to bust that. Um, we also need 18 gauge wire. We need a 24 gauge wire. Um, and we also need, if you have sandpaper, you can finish off your wires. If not, oh wow. I just saw sandpaper. Oh, somewhere in their lives. And then we also need a super sharp cutter, which this is not, but we're going to try <laughs> it anyway. Is that going to be sharper? Mm, we'll see. Maybe. As I junk up the area. All right. So the next thing we're going to do, here go. We're a ruler. Where'd the ruler go? Oh, here go, ruler. Okay, we're going to use a ruler. I like to spread all the way out, <laughs> take over everywhere. Yes, he does. Correct. No lies told. No Truth lies telling. Detected. All right. So I got this 18 gauge wire. I'm going to go and um, put this out here. This one here, right here. Look, see that? No banners in the way. That's approximately four inches. We're going to precisely eyeball that with a ruler. All right. This flush cutter. This side make it flush. This side make it pointy. Um, so William accidentally got rid of y'all. Mm -hmm. He got jealous. <laughs> he was like, I'm the star of this show. <laughs> All right. Y'all hear me now? You see me? Hello? Y'all still here? Say yes. You're back. All right. So I got this wire. I still didn't cut it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go in here. I'm going to try not to hit the thing. So this makes the flat side. This makes the pointy side. If you pick the flat side, then guess what? You don't have to sand it. You don't have to file that business. You get the pointy side, then you want to do that. Here, I'm going to move this off to the side so I can actually cut it. All right, so you got to have a go cut that with the big. Then this side, you know, make a pointy on this side. So guess what? You take this. And then you train this away so you don't shoot your eye. And there you go. So you got two flat sides. Don't shoot your eye out. Correct. Nobody wants to be like Ralphie. <laughs> he did shoot his eye. He did. First time he got his gun, then he did it. All right. I need two of this, y'all. Two. 18 gauge, four inches approximately. All right. Another thing that's helpful, you don't need it, but it is helpful. Let's have this bail making pliers. Do we have any of those bail making pliers? Not here. That's on the corner at the bottom over there in the clear container near the Fordham on the floor underneath where the enamel used to be. I don't know if we have a brand new pair, not used. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to gently find the center of this. So if you have problems with that, you can measure it. But I like to do like this. And then um, these sometimes help. You can kind of cross these over like that. We actually didn't really use those. Never mind. I just sent Willem away. And then these, you kind of have to measure it so that they kind of hang nice, right? you want it to hang nice all right and then i also like it if you can get it so that it spins that makes it more fun it's like fidget spinners but for your eardrums all right and then one way you can do that is um if you get if you find that middle spot then if you squeeze like so in that middle spot you find the thickness of the bead so it's pretty thick. So it's going to be probably about there. And then you find that like that. And then you squeeze it real hard. 
and then you have this little flat spot you see how there's a little flat spot right here that makes it so that when you're when you put this on it'll spin if you have it where it's curved what happens is sometimes it gets like it bends and then it's not going to want to spin like that see all right so first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this over here and then we're going to hammer it oh oh nice that's not like multi-step no but these aren't multi-step <coughs> no i love the webbers um you if you these instead oh those would be a better shape but um maybe do you all want to buy try to buy those or not <laughs> Well, I go and I hammer this. I'm only gonna, all I'm going to do is take this uh, nylon hammer. I'm going to hit this, and I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to hit it again. All right, and just here down. You want to leave yourself this much and this much that's not work hard. Because if you work hard on this, then you're going to make your life hard. So I hold this like this over this, and then I hit it. I'm not going to do this because there's about two to four inches of space in between the camera <laughs> and the thing. And that's not enough. All right. Oh, here's another tip. If you put your little anvil over the leg on your table, you will have a better time. If you put it out in the middle, especially if you have a plastic table, I learned this from teaching at trade shows where they have plastic tables um, and uh, your metal is going to bounce all to get out. So if you position your anvil over a, um, the leg of a table, you're going to have a better, much better experience in your life. These are half round ones. And then you got a full round. So if you're interested in that, you can email us. Yeah, these are $32.99, and $39.95. And if you want that, that's how you, you can have We've only got one pair of each, I think, left. And I love those. I love Walrus pliers, by the way. They got nice soft handles. Yeah, they do. And they're long. long handles so you don't get the pain. Who wants the pain? Not me. So I'm just going to repeat what I just did. See that? That was the rule. That one didn't turn out that great. Oh, well. Whatever. So this is the hammered one. And that, that's not. <laughs> Now, also, when I'm hammering, I'm not going like this because this, the vibration will go up here and it will live. The pain will live right here in this joint. So hold it like this, then you're, it's not going to live in there. It's going to travel into your elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yes, but no. All right. So here you go. You got them kind of twins. They like fraternal. <laughs> They, they're closely related, but not the same. All right. And then here we go. Here we go. You ready for this? Whoa. Whoa. That wasn't that whoa. See? There you go. See? Whoop, 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 whoop. All right. So you got this business, and you're like, what do you need that little wire for? Here we go. So if you get this wire, straighten this wire out. You can straighten it out. You want that to be relatively straight. This is an 18 gauge. And then you get this 24 gauge. And you hold it like so. Pinch that right there. And then you'll wrap it. And it'll want to move, so if you get your pliers out and you hold it still, then it won't move around. And this, you kind of make a, a mess. And I'm going to do this off camera, okay? Or maybe I'll just keep going. But it's real tight, so you're getting like a real close view of my hand. So you just keep doing this. If you have one of them coil jigs, you can use that also. All right, you you coil and you make in a coil, all right, and then um, you can continue as long as you want, 
So I'm going to just hold this off to the side. And then I'm going to trim it real close. All right. So trim that. And then in theory, this should slip off. And then um, you're going to compress your spring down. And if that's poking up, you can also, while it's still on the wire, this is your mandrel, by the way. I don't think I can put this back in. Um, let me see if I can put it on this way backwards. Um, while it's still on the wire, and this is way easier when you don't have the camera in the way, you can um, press this down and you can tuck that little end in so it's not sticking out, so it's not gonna be sharp. And then you can go like this and compress it. And then you have a nice tight one, tight coil. And then you take this and then you put that like that. It's flush against it like this. See how it's kind of flush? And then cut that off and then you put that away on the side. And then you use this as your mandrel and you can uh, compress this down, make that nice and tight, like so. And then pull that off. Basically, you made your own French ear wire, uh, ear or French wire. And then you can slip this down over. Slip this down over. Slip this down over. And then this will conform to whatever shape. So if you want, you can put that like that. You could make this go way high up if you wanted to. Um, we're not going to do that. We're just going to have that today. And then I'm going to do this off to the side because I can do this faster when I don't have the thing in the way. And William, he's hovering. Hovering. Because you hungry? You hungry. He's hungry, y'all. It's going to be a while before we eat. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna twist it. I'm coiling it. Am I doing a good job, William? You're doing a great job. Thanks. I needed the external validation. The external validation. All right. Okay. So if you coil this and it looks a mess, look how that look a mess. All you have to do is take your pliers and then just compress, compress. And then you got, it's nice and tight like that. See how that's nice and tight? All right, I'm gonna chop that business off. Remember, we want it to be flat so it's not sharp like a knife. You don't want that dangling there on your face, the knife shape. No. And then no press that down. In your face. Correct, unless you like that, and then that's your own business. Um, you can also count your coils <laughs> to make sure. So if you want, you can also eyeball it. Look, look, perfect. This may be one more coil, but oh well, whatever. We got stuff to do. I cook with the gas. <laughs> got dinner to eat. All right. Well, it's still on there. You're gonna tuck that business in, and then take this off. Whoa, we're moving like lightning. The flash up in here. Who who ordered the flash? All right, I'm going to slide that down. Uh, I think that show got canceled, didn't it? I don't know. We stopped watching. It's been on for, I, I kind of got bored. I'm like, who's going to come from the future this week? <laughs> oh, they still don't like you. You made some mistakes. All right. Can't do anything right, huh? All right. So you got this. You're going to cross them, them 18-gauge wires like so. You're going to go and hold it. You know, this works better if you have two um, chain nose pliers. Uh, if you grip real hard with the round nose pliers, you're going to dent your wire. Um, and then this is where those chain nose come in handy because they make it nice and tight. Otherwise, it's kind of loosey-goosey flavored. And then you don't want that loosey-goosey flavor. All right. And you're going to bend it. That was kind of a mess, y'all. Oh, wow. And then um, if you don't give yourself enough room, you can move it. And then you just make a loop. 
It's similar to Jen's tutorial last week. Oh, is it? She made that kind of, kind of. I mean, it was that kind of a shape. And she did the crisscross and some. She did some spirals in there. I'm sure she did a better job. <laughs> Um, cause she actually works with wire a lot. I don't, I added one more to too many, um, brats that kind of got messed up at the top. So, and then you just open your ear wire and this, if you want to make it work hard and you can work hard on it and it will, um, make it so it doesn't, um, move, come loose, but I doubt it. And then there you go. What do y'all think? I could have done a better job. <laughs> um, Marion says, my mind works like lightning. One flash and it's gone. Maybe it'll strike twice. You never know. See? See how I did this? Did y'all like that? Whoa. Whoa. No. I could have done better. Um, so then if you want, you can uh, uh, patina this. Oh, here's another tip. Um, make sure that this is on the same, it's parallel. This loop is parallel to this big loop, and then it will hang properly. If it's off, because this this loop on the ear wire is perpendicular, it, it will start to twist if it's not. So you want to make sure that that's like that. All right. So that's real easy, and then it moves that's another way to use this if you wanted to make a pendant you could just leave off the ear wire and then turn this however and you can also use this as a pendant you can stack this up and add a bunch of like little jingle jangles and also they don't have to be the same they don't have to be all round and discs like that you can have stuff hang down like this in the back and then have this be the way that you hang your pendant. So it would be like this. See? All right. There you go. Intermission done. Then you do the same thing for this side. And then that took longer than four minutes. <laughs> yeah, it did. But in a nice way, you know? In a nice way. And it takes a long time way. You go like that. Michelle says, I really like that. Pam says, yes, it's nice. Okay. All right, everybody, let's get rid of all these things. Okay. Where am I? We left off on 28. CC 29 coming up. CC 29. Marianne says, added content. Right? <clears throat> Unless you're watching, you'll never know it was there. Right? CC29. Sally says, great tutorial. There's only three, three lots of these available, meaning three pairs. Beautiful light blue, pink flowers, and the flower bud. Three pairs available. CC29. CC30 coming up. Little dogs. Who likes dogs? Little, puppy. Little puppy dogs. Puppy, puppy. puppy dogs. So here we go. CC30. Look at the little puppy dogs with the little red bows. We got a story. Little puppy with a red bow. And it's chasing his little ball on the other side of the bead. Any of y'all like dogs? Um, Cheryl is a dog. Any of y'all sell yeah. places sell places where there are dogs? Diane has a dog. She has a different kind. I know. Diane, these would be great if you're watching. She does a lot of dog events. Yeah, she, does, she sells um, neckties, bows. What's her... Her name of her company? The um now you're gonna ask me on the spot. The helpful hound boutique. You got it. I did get it. 
the helpful hound boutique cindy has to go her eyes are closing a bit early tonight have a good night cindy thank it's you because i did the tutorial isn't it? you put her to sleep she got come across you put her to sleep so here are the dogs only a dollar a pair cc 30 there are 16 pairs and then they are gone 16 pairs and then they are gone. CC 30. Yeah, said 16 pairs are gone. I'm like, wow. No. That tutorial really did happen. <laughs> Three pairs are gone so far of those. Whoa. These are really precious and I sweet. Tutorial for everything. <laughs> Maybe. Mm -hmm. We have to cut our lots down to 25, though. All right, CC31. These are really nice. I love these. She says, no, just had a long day at my granddaughter's school today. Take care and see y'all later. Have a good one. Look at these purple flowers, the pink flowers, the buds. And I love the shape on these. They're a little bit um, geometric compared to just a round. And there are only four pairs of these available. Four pairs of these available. I love the purple on these. You don't see the purple very much. I like that. CC31. Are y'all going to go make earrings now, like Andrew showed you? Get busy making some earrings, y'all. CC32, CC32, are these rounds? Pink flowers? These are similar to, some of these are similar, right? Pink, I think we had these with orange before because I was saying this is the rose quartz and the garnet and the lapis. The other one had the carnelian you could pair with it. Marianne says, maybe make some tomorrow. It's bedtime soon. I know, y'all are getting close to bedtime. CC32, only six pairs of those available. Um, in theory, um, I used to have a bag of these kinds of things, but they're small. These are uh, e coins, and then you would put them like this, and so you can either have it, if it's small, if it's big like this, you can have like a frame, but if it's small, it's really cute, and it takes up that white space. You know what I'm talking about? Those mm -hmm. little ones? Mm -hmm. I don't know where they went. I don't know. They were just here. They're in a little organza bag. Oh, I didn't see that. And it's a green one. They're not in this box from the table, are they? They might be. Were they on the table? I feel like I've started seeing them somewhere recently. All right. CC33, $1. Purple, blue, pink on a light blue background. These ones, I think... We just have one similar to these. See, they're so sometimes they're similar, they confuse me. Um, no, these are different purple, blue, pink, light blue with the gold. With the gold, everybody. Look at that. Look at that gold reflecting on there. Only a dollar a pair. There are 14 pairs of these available. CC33. CC33. Those are really pretty. Come on, get in there. Okay. CC33. CC34. Coming up. CC34. Are these? Let's take a closer look at these.
There's that one flower, the blue around it. They have flowers at the top and bottom. A little hint of some green in there, a leaf. Beautiful. And again, these are those kind of more geometric style, more of a lantern style bead. One dollar a pair, eight pairs available. CC 34. I'm going to go a little bit, pick up this pace a little bit, since y'all are, well, some of y'all are getting sleepy. Well, if you talk like that and lull them into contact. You know that's my voice. I ain't got the jokes like you. No, you have jokes. Here's monkeys. Aren't those cute? They're happy to go home with you. And then they got the flowers on the back. So we have CC35, super cute monkeys with the flowers, three flowers on the back. Or front, maybe the monkeys are in the back, I don't know. CC35, 16 pairs available of the monkeys. I think they're very charming. I think they're super cute. Who doesn't like monkeys? They throw poop at you. No, isn't that gorilla? Do monkeys do that or do gorillas do that? I think they all do that. Chimpanzees, which ones? So you could put this or this if you like the steampunk. Not. Nah. Well, here, that bus token. <laughs> bus token. Marianne likes the monkeys or don't like the monkeys. Waving her hand. Where are you leaving us, Marianne? CC36, one pair available of these. CC36, one pair of these. And they are like faceted. They have a little geometric design to them. Holes go top to bottom. You can sit this way or this way. Oh, Marianne doesn't like monkeys. Oh, didn't know that, Marianne. Monkey, pink, what about pink monkey? Pink monkeys. CC36, one pair available. Still available. As long as my email isn't caught up. You deal like that. You can just keep adding. You just need a longer wire. And to make the flat spot. CC37. Two pairs available of these. Black and white. Black and white. Dots and dashes. Susan says, I'm so sleepy too. Good night all. Oh no. Good night. Have a good one. CC37, two pairs of these available. We're down to five people watching us. What I don't know, everybody's getting tired suddenly. CC37. CC, we're gonna keep doing this so y'all can rewatch tomorrow. CC38, down to four people watching. CC38 are these CC38 two pairs of these available two pairs of those available CC38 down to two people watching. That must be Marianne and Michelle. Or else the numbers are just wrong. Where am I at here? Right. 
39. Dale's watching while I'm making earrings. So we have at least Michelle, Sandra, Dale. Yeah, our numbers must be wrong. Because suddenly we took that jump down. I was like, that can't be right, surely. There are more people commenting than that. Pam's still here. Michelle's here. Mary Ann's here. Dale's here. Sandra's here. Thank you all for hanging out. Cece, Susie's here. Hey, thanks for hanging out. We've got ducks coming up next. CC39. Norma's still here, but may have to go soon. We've only got 11 lots left. You can hang in there, everybody. Hang in there. Ducks. Aren't those cute? Marion says, interesting, says it's one person. Yeah, I'm showing three across everywhere, <laughs> which does not seem right. Because obviously we have a bunch of people. Something's not reporting right. Whoa. Dropping the, drop the beads. These beads also hold up very well. Jeanette's here. Sally's back. CC39. CC39. One dollar a pair. Ducks. Only three pairs available of ducks. You want a duck? Claim it fast. CC39. We're down to two pairs of the ducks only. Thank you for grabbing them, everybody. Next up, CC40. Norma says, I can hang in for 11 more. See? I knew it. CC40. Are these the blue and white? I love the blue and white beads. Love the blue and white beads. And there are 12 pairs of these available. CC40. And does nice. And I've been doing this because it takes more time, but 20.5, 20 and a half millimeters round. But nice and light. Nice and light. Michelle says, ignore how many of us are here. It's wrong. Apparently, apparently, I thought everyone just ducked out on me. They said that we like Andrew better. William's back. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. When Dave's numbers are dropping when I'm <laughs> It's probably because I shut down the stream and then things aren't counting right. Oh. Although, it doesn't usually do that. All right. CC41. CC41. Are these with the fish? See the fish on there? Fish designs. CC41, two fish. It's kind of like Pisces, right? There are two fish on there. I don't know what that says. Anybody know what that says? Can tell me? I don't know what it says. Um, only a dollar a pair. CC41, seven pairs available. And then they're gone. And remember, none of these two, none of these are exactly alike because they're all hand glazed. Vintage Chinese porcelain, hand glazed beads, only a dollar a pair, 50 lots tonight. You could buy one of each pair for $50 if you wanted to. That'd be fun. CC42, only one pair of these available. One pair of these available. They're the red and gold. Those are lucky colors, right? CC42, one pair available, one dollar for the pair. CC42, look how pretty those are. CC43, coming up. CC43. Hmm. 
What are these? These dragons. CC 43. CC 43. These look like dragons to me. They got the claws there. They, there's the head. And then the dragon body wrapping around with all the other claws. And then the tail. Dragons. Who doesn't like the dragons? Marion, I bet Marion likes dragons, right? You like the dragons? You don't like the monkeys? Maybe you like the dragons. So there are 12 pairs of those available. CC43 dragon beads in that beautiful kind of carnelian color and bluish green, kind of that aqua blue color. CC43. Marion says, I love dragons. You know what also happened today? What happened today? Miss Tallulah. Oh, tonight. forgot about that. You blocked it out. I did. She busted out a window. Miss Tallulah, I came down from bed and came down to go to the bathroom. And she, well, first I went to the bathroom. And I don't know if at that point she had gotten out or not, or how long she was out. But I came back and Miss Gertie was over halfway sticking her little butt out the window. Well, her face out the window. And I grabbed Gertie and said, what are you doing? And then I looked around and I had four kids around me and not five. And Miss Tallulah, oftentimes Miss Tallulah comes down later than everybody else when I'm feeding everybody. So she oftentimes sits in on the couch. So I looked in on the couch after I closed the window and she wasn't there. And then I shook the treats container. And she, if she is anywhere around within earshot, meaning anywhere in the house, she comes for her treats. And she didn't come around. I said, that little stinker is somewhere outside, which I started to panic a little, but then I was like, okay, let's just stay calm. Hopefully if, if none of the other cats got out, hopefully she hadn't been out very long and just recently pushed her way through the, the screen on the window. I think she has been working on that for a couple days. Cause yeah, when I closed the window, the screen was loose in the corner and she had popped it open and got out and so i opened the back door because of course I was, that was in the kitchen when it's out the back door and there she is sitting beside the we have furniture in our back porch right now from the move and she's huddled in there and just sitting there just like she's causing no trouble at all mm -hmm. just sitting there looking at me and i open the door and she comes running in and i don't know how long she was out she's gonna do her some independent study yeah and i don't know at least she they all watch the big boys go out and they know that we mostly sit on the porch together and when they get scared she knows they run to the porch so at least she knew to come to the porch when she got out and wasn't running around somewhere else um but um yeah so Miss Tallulah decided to have an adventure of her own today. Oh, thankfully I didn't get too panicked because I was like, if Gertie didn't get out yet, if no one else got out yet, she probably hasn't been out that long. And I didn't notice it when I came down right away, but that doesn't mean it wasn't out. But yeah, so, and it's the window we use for our laser and, um, she was able to push her way out. Little stinker. So Pamela's a stinker. Michelle says she is a troublemaker, LOL. She is. I know. We don't laugh out loud, though. <laughs> yeah. CC45, six pairs of these available, these beautiful flowers, multiple flowers standing up in the garden. Look at all these flowers. CC45, only six pairs of these available.
She got a stern talking to today. And then everybody else got a stern talking to about their privileges, not little, not being able to go outside and just Barnaby whenever they want. Barnaby and I went out. I said, you were a good boy. He didn't try and go out the window by himself. Pam says, I have a Frenchie that when she sees a rabbit, she's off and running. I ordered an air tag today so I can find her. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, the little ones aren't allowed at all. No, the little ones are not allowed, but this is Tallulah has snuck out when the other ones have been trying to get out. She's been out, she ran out to the to the yard once. She ran onto the porch once. Now she's been out on her own adventure once. So she is a little stinker. But luckily she doesn't go far or hasn't in any of these circumstances. To... Does not just be down to four cats? <laughs> he says no one just be down. So she can go be the street urchin she wants to be. Correct. <laughs> no time for no, no delinquents. No delinquents. So these are gold on a blue background. Gold on a light blue background. These are very pretty. These would be easy to incorporate. There's no like motifs in them. Yeah, those are fun. Gold and blue. Um, do you want a, another one minute to try? No. One minute no. to try. I do a little cast. See, you're making me one. nervous now. Okay, well, you pick that up. All right. So here is your hole, your bead. This chain is real fine chain. And you can do this with almost any chain as long as it's super fine. And then you just hold this like so, like over it. And then you just lower this in until it goes through both holes. That's the trickiest part. And then you just cut it wherever and then attach your ear wire. That took less than one minute, <laughs> and that's another alternative for using these. There you go. Super lightweight, dangling, very look like they that you like did something. Took a long time to do it, but real in reality, it took like two seconds. Two seconds. Uh, Susie says there are many days. Three of my cats get a coming to Jesus meeting. <laughs> Three, you got three particularly naughty ones over there. Pam says, you are so lucky this dog was 50 feet from a busy street last week. That's about all the further we are from our street. Then we're going to be down. And <laughs> she's also, she has this thing where she, you know, some cats have that natural, like, this is dangerous. Don't do this. She yeah, don't have that. She did. The little girls, most of them do not. Gertie nearly knocks herself off of the 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 kitten tower every day. She, she keeps rolling. Around. She rolls around and she has no idea where her body is, and she throws herself over the edge. You hear her clawing, and usually I catch her because she does it a lot of times when I'm getting them food, and it's right next to it. Susie says blue copper and sa or blue cooper and saffron. The stinkers, huh? Sandra says, what a great idea. So these, there are only four of these pairs available. CC47. CC47. These are the white, green, blue, and orangey carnelian color. And only four of those pairs available. CC47, $1 a pair. Down to three pairs of those available only. $1 a pair. Down to one pair of those available, one dollar a pair. Now, if you like the vases or vases, as some people say, from before, when we had that kind of beigey gold, we now have them in the blue and white. Wouldn't that be so cute with the little check glass flower? Oh yeah, put a little flowers at the top. Wouldn't that be sweet? Weren't there check glass flowers sitting over there somewhere? There were ones right here. No, oh, those little those. 
There was a whole stack of them right up there, I think. Over where? On the ledge over there, maybe? Saw them today. Um, I don't think that's accurate. No? I just saw them today. Anyway, yeah, I had some here. I saw them on a corner of a table somewhere. Or the edge. All different colors. There's a whole mishmash of them. Oh, that must be... There's like a little pile of them. I put that for you. It was somewhere not here, though. Because we had some for the other day for something. But like this. Like that. Wouldn't that be cute? Have a few of them. If you did something with some wire in there. Had some wires coming out with some of these. Sticking out like a vase. Wouldn't that be fun? You can also do a messy wire wrap. Because you could, you could have one wire coming out, right? And then do like a few offshoots and put those on there. Sticking out. Sticking out. The whole thing enough to do multiple. You can do multiple wires, yeah. So if you wanted it to be more elegant. But if you wound the thin wire around, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so CC48. Ten lots available. Ten pairs now down to 10, 9, 8, 7 pairs available. CC48. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on that. You're going to put people, they're going to be falling asleep watching. Not that your tutorials are boring, boring but people are tired. These are different. I didn't even know we had these. CC49. They look like the Sumi ink brush. Mm -hmm. And then the little red is the signature. the signature. There are only two pairs of these. These are nice large holes. Big hole beads. CC49, only two pairs available. First come, first serve. Look how pretty those are. Let me show you the other two as well. Mary says, it's only 8 o'clock here. Yeah, it just turned 10 here. People are getting tired early today. I don't know why. Usually we go to like 10.30. Midnight o'clock. Midnight o'clock. So there are the two pairs available. Michelle says 7 here, right? CC49, two pairs available. Down to zero pairs available. Thank you so much. Those are sold. And the last lot of tonight, CC50. CC50. There are four pairs of these available. And they are these beautiful little tubular beads with the blue flowers. Blue flowers. CC50. Only four pairs of these available. Super sweet. Four pairs available. CC50. Three pairs available now. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> All right, that's it, y'all. That's all we've got. Let me flip the camera around real quick. We'll say goodbye. Go to my settings, flip my cam, maybe. There we go. Front camera. Hello, everybody. Hello again. So thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed that and grab some good stuff for yourself or for a friend. Um, share this video, please, with your friends. Let them know that we have great stuff like this at amazing prices, right? I think those were really awesome. Only a dollar a pair for everything tonight. And uh, if you miss anything, please rewind and take a look. You can claim in this video for a few days, at least, um, 
before these go back into our stock. So we always leave you a few days to be able to claim before we put everything back, back, back into the stash. All right. Um, Dale says, thank you. Grab for gifts. That's awesome. Thank you. These would make great gifts, right? If you're doing like earring exchange at work or, you know, little secret Santas or whatever you do, uh, little birthday gifts, little, little treasures um, uh, for, you know, even nieces, you're making little things, good things for, for jewelry um, at good prices. So thank you for hanging out with us. And we hope that you have a great evening, everybody. We're going to go get something to eat and then come back, probably, and make some enamel pendants tonight. So have a great one. We'll see you back here. Well, Andrew will tomorrow while I go to my pottery class. And then I'll probably see you at the end. All right. Have a great evening, everybody. Thank you for hanging out with us. Bye now. See ya.